We've got a Fear of God fundraising t-shirt. Um, I guess some people in streetwear or, you know, some of the streetwear crew have got together to create, um, you know, the classic sort of fundraising t-shirt motif where they sort of essentially splash all their logos on the back of it, kind of co-signing um, the fact that they're all kind of banded around this one cause and then obviously the money that's generated from the sales of t-shirts will probably be split um, between several different charities. So it's a very old tradition in streetwear one of the things that i love about the streetwear community that we're able to all kind of you know sometimes some of the brands that are together on a t-shirt that you might have some internal beefs there might be some things going on behind the scenes that you're not aware of but they put those things to the side and like you know what this is bigger than us let's kind of put that thing forward and f you i think a lot of the brand owners are aware that most of these kids that wear these shirts aren't going to give two fucks about the charities that they kind of contributing to but you know it doesn't matter as long as you're exposing them to it that's all you can do in it for your community and you've kind of done your part in that regard but this is um, from vogue as well it says fg is not gf fear of god's jerry lorenzo on george floyd and the importance of behind the scenes collaboration so this is a t-shirt there um it's a fear of god cut t-shirt i'm assuming um with the gf representing george floyd written on the front and you've got fear of god union noah off white funnily enough away john just done again then the other guy that was threatening to shoot people <laughs> they came to his door um denim tears pyre moss and me so it says for his article it says jerry lorenzo first saw the video of george floyd murder at hands of being a police officer he thought of his children and how important it is to teach them about racial justice systemic equality and the importance of inclusivity lorenzo who founded the streetwear label for god in 2012 then began to text his friends together with kirby jean raymond of pierre and Pyra Moss, sorry, uh, Brendan Babbage of, of Noah, Virgil Love of White, uh, Lorenzo discussed racism in America, their personal feelings around Floyd's killings and what they could do to help creatives. Lorenzo design director Lillian Delostro came up with the idea of switching the letters to FG to GF, which is genius really, isn't it? Considering, you know, they were just ready and praying for that. Um, you know, no Floyd and printed a monogram on the front of the t-shirt. The Lorenzo asked his friends in the text chain, uh, if they'd like to participate as a group they decided to lend their logos as a sign of unity and to donate 100 percent of the proceeds from the sale of the shirt directly to the G gianni floyd fund set up for floyd's youngest daughter the shirt will be available on the fear god instagram channel for 100 pound beginning at 12 p.m et today amazing <sighs> that's a good thing i guess that's inspiring in that regard um it makes you wonder, in it, why Nicki minaj and the <laughs> six nine thought it was uh, uh, a good decision to put it out there in a copy that they were going to donate a portion of the proceeds i'm not really a, f a fan of donation shaming but it's just funny when everyone is doing all the money and some people say now nah, i'm only going to do some like the amount of courage that must take because you know you're going to get killed you know people are going to actually destroy you in it in the comments but i guess you just don't care in that regard but bloody hell man what a funny little thing that was but hey that's cool i'm not sure sure is that still available now oh is that all done i'm assuming it's probably all done in it get off the screen so it's not loading let's continue with the article actually it says lorenzo points out he and his collaborators who also include chris gibbs of union the, the, the other names have always put inclusivity to the forefront of their brand he said i think it's a little easier for us to react because we have a history of empathy for the black community and a history of promoting inclusivity which is true in it for the most part i think you feel like a lot of the kind of self-flagellation, a lot of the kind of, you know, cries of I didn't know from some of the white people on social media, it is a bit disingenuous because it makes you think like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, were you not aware that there was um, of the struggles of other races going on? Out, you know, well, are you just not aware of the struggles that people have out there? It's just unbelievable, isn't it? Some of the things people are saying. Um, and this kind of overcorrection and this sort of like kind of bending the knee and you know washing people's feet is because you feel guilty because you've not done anything right you've not kind of been aware of what's going on in the world you've not kind of been you're not empathetic of any kind of, of anyone's struggle but if you're actually doing the work and you're just out there you know putting your best foot forward there's no need for you to kind of castrate yourself in public everyone kind of knows you've you know you've got your best intentions at heart um, I find that very bizarre on social, but hey, it continues. It says, um, when we do speak out, it's coming from an honest place and our consumers know and understand that. I think that what a lot of brands are facing during this tricky time is that if you haven't had a history of inclusivity and you begin to speak out, you run the risk of being reactive and in inauthentic, 100% agree. I think I saw a brand the other day make a really bad move in that regard where they usually, you know, they're probably a little bit 
they're probably for the most part forward facing have this image of you know the kind of ditzy white girl running through labrador grove and then suddenly it sort of like goes brown and black and then suddenly it goes back to the ditzy white girl running through labrador grove then they they haven't done no other political post they don't even post about christmas they don't do anything right and and then suddenly they um i guess they miss opportunity to post the blackout tuesday thing i guess they just missed it the social media manager probably just didn't think it was a good idea and then no one at the top of wanting to push it forward they was afraid to and then they were they got called out for that so in the reaction to it they decided to then post a caption that supported black lives matter but the image was really white and they just got torn to pieces by it and in my opinion i don't think I think the real work does happen behind the scene, but I think if you're a brand and you're forward facing and you're talking about social issues all the time, it's your responsibility to kind of put your voice out there. But if you don't talk about stuff, you shouldn't have to. You should put your money where your mouth is, donate in the right places, just keep it stepping. Or if you're not interested, just don't get involved, but you just can't do two things at the same time. You have to pick what camp you're in. If you're all in or you're all out. Yeah, basically. And if you're all in, you have to choose whether you do it front facing or behind the scenes. Uh, the dirt it could, he continues he said he notes however that in his that in his view there is no wrong or right way for a brand or anyone to implement or address the movement right now i partly agree with that he says i think it's really a hard thing i think it starts with making sure that the company uh, that the companies that you have that you own have inclusivity built into the model and that everyone in the company is considered that the products that are being made are considered you have to think about how those things you make and how you put them into the world will be received across um all demographics across all people for lorenzo the collaborations in private is just as important if you're more if you're not important sorry so it's kind of did you if for lorenzo collaborations in private is just as important if not more important than that we see on the surface be that on a piece of merch or on social media a lot of the collaborations we do is behind the scenes one of the things that Virgil has said in the past is that you would never be able to buy a t-shirt with the Louis Vuitton or Prada and Givenchy logos or printed on the same piece but we're part of a new generation that is breaking the old rules and establishing new ones and I think that we collaborate in ways that got unseen yeah that's true but I don't I don't I don't see the point in that statement really um those brands would never put their t logos on one t-shirt that is what it is but streetwear's done this thing for years, right? It's, been, it's done this thing for decades since the inception of streetwear. There was this kind of cross pollination of brands, sort of like you know, trying to reach other different in, different parts of the industry, different parts of an audience, joining together. You know, it's usually just a mark of friendship, a mark of love. People have been doing this forever. Um, it continues to that with this issue that affects us all. I thought it was important for the world to see that there was an idea that was created by a collective of people who are passionate about it, the people who shop with us and support us. Yeah, I guess so, but let's not heavily intellectualize putting a bunch of logos on a t-shirt, eh? Let's keep it a little bit chill. But again, regardless, it's a nice tee. I like it. Is it available still at the moment? Probably not. What does it say here? Can you buy the staying solidarity? The, 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 how much stock you'll have at five? I guess people are going to buy it. Okay. Yeah, you can buy it if you want. There he goes. All three of the t-shirts there with the logos on the back. Check it out if you're that way inclined.